My name's Andrew Hunt. I've uh, just finished uh, my PhD fairly recently uh, here at CAS, uh, which was studying how to project life expectancies into the future. Over the past couple of decades, uh, life expectancy in the UK and across much of the developed world actually has uh, gone up uh, very rapidly, far more rapidly than, than a lot of people, actuaries and demographers and people like that, were expecting. Mostly that's a good thing, you know, people are living longer, but it has financial consequences. Um, if people live longer, then they spend longer in retirement, so they need more money saved up. We're not talking small amounts of money. You know, in the UK, there's a trillion pounds in pension funds. And so if actuaries get their sums wrong, as they have done, you know, it has big financial consequences. My specific research has about building, been about building statistical models to analyse historical data on mortality rates and life expectancies and take that analysis and project it forwards to uh, make forecasts of what life expectancy will be in future you know, for, for the purposes of people saving for retirement, you know, insurance companies and pension funds, people like that. Being at CAS and studying with, under my supervisor, Professor David Blake, has been uh, really valuable for that, partly because uh, CAS has a, a very well-respected actuarial science faculty and some of the leading researchers in the study of uh, longevity risk, which is what I study. It's also useful being based in London, uh, which is you know, the centre of the UK insurance and banking industry, and also working in a, a wider community of PhD students and faculty from across so actuarial science, finance and management, which has helped create a sort of more collegiate and, and constructive uh, working environment.